Thailand's general election this Sunday will be the first since the military coup in 2014. My name is Parit Dibenholm. And my name is Nanchanok Wong Samut. And, and we, we work, work with BBC, BBC Thai. We're going to tell you about the importance of this election and how influential the youth vote will be. Thailand's military has seized power 13 times since the end of the absolute monarchy. The latest coup was five years ago. The man who led that, General Payut Chan Ocha, is now Prime Minister. He has promised since day one in office that he would hold elections as soon as possible. And now, we are having one this Sunday! But while the military has been in power, it has come up with new election laws that critics say may prolong its power. Since it allows members of the parliament and coup appointed senators to choose the prime minister, who can also literally be anyone called an outsider prime minister. General Priyut will be running as a candidate for the pro military Palang Pacharat Party. Critics say he has advantage over other parties, since, for instance, he has made all national television networks broadcast government commission daily evening shows and his 30 minute speech every Friday night. สวัสดีครับพ่อแม่พี่น้องชาวไทยที่ Anyway, it seems so long ago since we had our last election. 8 years. The minimum age of voting is 18 which means the oldest first-time voter will already be 26 years old. Which makes me wonder, could young voters be the key to victory? I think that's pretty likely. This time, there will be up to 7.3 million first-time voters, including me. A poll by the King Prashadipoks Institute estimates over 90% of Thais will vote, compared to only 75% in the previous election in 2011. If that's true, this means around 6 million first-time voters will vote. If any party gets even only half of the vote, they have a chance of forming a coalition government. Parit, you had the chance to interview several first-time voters. What kind of expectations do they have? Thai political scientists say the new generation are more anti-establishment. Some parties, for example, the Future Forward Party, are courting the youth vote. But General Brayut has also tried to change his image recently. A lot of young people who I spoke to also say they are fed up with the same own people and policies and they want something new. This election is an important one for Thais, so let's go to vote!